this. Coach, how would you assess the continued development of the freshman rate this Um, we also saw him catch a touchdown early yeah. today. Well, uh, I guess that's continued development. So, you know, he's uh, he's still got ways to go. You know, he's he's got real ability. You know, that's why he was, geez. Sorry, Coach. Death perception. He's catching bass. <laughs> I'm getting old. See, they found a way to combat my bunk. <laughs> He's still going to pin me up against this thing, even though I get more. It's amazing. Um, they, uh, he's, he's very athletic, but you know, he's got to learn the nuances of the position. <coughs> Sorry. Um, you know, he's seen a lot of different blitzes. We're throwing things at him. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he's, I think uh, with Malcolm in there right now, it's given us some, some flexibility. Uh, did not He doesn't have to start right away. It's going to give us the flexibility to kind of bring him along, which I think is good with him. Uh, but he's definitely going to have a role in, in uh, you know, in our, our three and four wide, and even maybe even in some, some uh, two wide packages. But uh, he, he's got real talent. He's, he's working at it. Obviously, he's got size, but what else is distinctive qualities about him? Well, he's big, and he's fast, and he's got real good hands. So that's why he was rated the way he was rated out of high school. You know, he's uh, and he's still learning, and he's 240 pounds. So, you know, I, I, I was concerned about his weight until Coach Jackson said, you know, we put him in his, we have a, a what we call a bod pod here that measures uh, density and, and body fat. He's about as lean as you can get. I mean, he's just that's just him. I mean, he's just a big dude. So, uh, you know, because of that, you know, he's carrying it well. And uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what the plans are for him. We'll bring him along. Uh, he'll play this year, but uh, you know, he, he doesn't have the pressure on him. I think right now, because of how Malcolm's playing. Coach, you said the backup quarterback should look on film. Saturday night to see where they're at, see how they play with the first teams, second teams. Could you talk about no, where we, you feel they're at? No, I, you know, we, we uh, evaluate all of them, you know, so um, we haven't made a decision on any of the quarterbacks at this point. So they're still Is there, they're still going. You know, last year you set a date for the yep. name of starters as a backup. Is there any date you're going to set? I'm backup? not setting a date this okay. year. Okay. Last year's situation, I don't know if you know this, last year's situation is a little bit different than right now. Yes, sir. So, no. Is that right? Yes, sir. Sorry about that. But that's, no, okay. you know, that's that's, it's kind of a fluid fluid deal. Yeah. With uh, any any concerns with Brandon Williams being ready for the 31st? Uh, my concerns would be I'm more concerned about Brandon Williams being ready for the season. So, you know, if he's ready to go, he's ready to go. If I feel like, if we feel like from a medical standpoint, it's best to hold him a hold. You know, we got uh, our other backs, obviously, we've been doing a really good job, um, and we haven't, in the scrimmage situations, haven't played Ben very much, so, you know, we've got, you know, between Ben and Trey and Trey, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, we, we, those guys are very adequate, and uh, or above adequate, pretty good backs, and uh, Noah Zolf played for us last year a lot, so, you know, if, if, uh, if he's ready to go, by then, I'm more concerned with with uh, him being involved in double-digit type, you know, ten or eleven games than in, in one game. What has Trey Clarkson showed you from so far? Uh, good hands, good versatility, and he's really picked up the pace and protection. So you know, he's he's a guy that's uh, trustworthy and solid. You know, gives us another dimension at 230 pounds that, that we don't have with the two of those guys. In your opinion, why are you one of the hardest? Not harder than quarterback. Is it up there though? Uh, I think the further you get away from the football, the harder it is to play. As a as a young guy, uh, the closer you get to the football, there's you know your your the physical nature of what's going on in there makes it difficult for you to play, just from a size and strength uh, situation. But uh, when you get on the perimeter, if you've got speed. If you've got some athletic ability, you can get away with it. You know, and it depends on on, on what people are asking you to do. To, so, um, you know, from, from that standpoint, you know, there's just you can be a good player, but you know, 
physically you might not be ready to play in the interior. And, and you have a better chance probably come out of high school playing in the perimeter than you can anyway. Can you talk about where the Taylor brothers are right now and how they're developing? Yeah, they're, uh, you know, they've shown, I, I tell you what they're doing, a lot better job of is playing harder. And I think they understand the uh, tempo of the game and what's important to them. You know, more so than they did last year this time. Because, you know, they, they approach the summer differently. Um, you know, when you watch great examples of how uh, Demontre Moore and, uh, you know, and, and, and those guys played during the game, it's easy to point to on tape and say, you know, these guys played hard. And uh, this is the level of of effort that we need. Not necessarily it, with, with that effort comes uh, comes the kind of uh, production that we need. So it's on tape and those guys are getting it. With the 31 new guys that you have, you're so close to wrapping up camp, starting game preparations for us. Are you happy with where they're at? Yeah, we challenged them a little bit. They hit the wall, you know, the last couple of days. This is usually where, you know, guys really haven't been through this. A lot going on, you know, and uh, so they, they were a little bit down today, but we challenged them. Tomorrow's our last two-a-day practice. So uh, we got to get through tomorrow. They got to get through tomorrow. They got to push themselves through tomorrow mentally and physically. And, and then uh, we'll begin preparation for, uh, for the game uh, really Thursday. Where has Johnny improved the most from spring drills to now? I, you know, I think uh, his overall knowledge of the offense, you know, where, where he is and his ability to think think that during the play being able to give him a little bit more flexibility to change plays, understanding defenses and, and you know he's worked on the mechanics with his feet. So, you know, I think there's a lot of things that we sat down and talked about about how he can improve and, and he's approached it and his like I said, his attitude and his focus has been good during camp. Anything else? Some of your freshman corners that have gotten a lot of reps from Noel Ellis, Tavares Garner, guys like that. What have you what have they shown? They've shown the ability to uh, to cover sometimes and get beat sometimes. That's what freshman corners do. <laughs> so they're they're uh, they're talented. Uh, they just don't know everything yet. And when you play against Mike Evans, it's it's uh, it's not good all the time. You know. So you know, we, we, Tavares has got real real talent. Uh, we've played Victor Davis out there corner too a little bit. He's got a lot of talent. Uh, Noel is playing some nickel. Uh, so, you know, those young guys uh, have, have had a lot of turns. Alex Caesar has, has played a lot. So um, we're giving them turns because, you know, after our first couple guys, you know, we, we just got to kind of figure out where we are with, with uh, uh, the backups and who's playing and, and they're, they're all competing. They're all learning. To, you know, they're learning against some pretty good players too, and, and that's good. You know, competition makes makes them all better. Did they arrive with short memories, or is that something you're going to have to? Teach uh, them? I don't know. You know, I, we try to teach them that, but the way Mike Evans talks to them, it's not very nice. <laughs> and he doesn't. He is unmerciful in practice. And, uh, so, you know, it's uh, everybody's not him. I, I tell those guys, there's, there's, everybody's not 6'5", 230 can do that. So. And he's just a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. That's his, you know, he's, he's a good player. So he's, uh, he was just a freshman last year and he seemed to be all right. Any movement on Everett and Raven this year? No. How pleased have you been with Clay Honeycutt, Coach? What you know what, uh, um, he has, along with Malcolm, has uh, really improved. Uh, you know, he, he, he's a guy who, didn't see the field. I didn't know if he was going to ever play here. Uh, we challenged him, and uh, he got better in the spring. Uh, has been steady, and he's going to. I mean, he's he's competing to play right now to, to really get on the field and, and try to push us. I mean, he is. Uh, he, he's right there, and so I'm, I'm really happy with his progress. And, and you know, in the next week and a half will determine. You know much he's going to play in that first game and, and after that how much he's going to play. Uh, okay. Thanks.